dashboards allow you to take related charts and cohorts and compile them into a single location so you can get a comprehensive big picture view. Dashboards can be shared and added to spaces, making them a great way to share a collection of insights with stakeholders, both internally and externally. Here is an example of a dashboard for Amplistore, a fictional e-commerce platform. This dashboard is for product managers and provides them with an overview of key metrics. These charts all exist individually within Amplitude, but having them in this dashboard makes it easy for PMs to regularly check up on customer conversion rates and uncover insights that might drive product decisions. Here's another example, this time focused on tracking metrics for a specific project, in this case, an A-B test. This dashboard allows stakeholders to get an overview of the key metrics related to this experiment. If you want to get regular updates related to a particular dashboard, you can subscribe to the dashboard from the More dropdown. This will set up recurring reports and send you notifications when those reports are ready to view. When viewing a dashboard, you can temporarily adjust the parameters like the time frame or add event or user property filters like device type. Adding a filter doesn't change the existing parameters of the charts on the dashboard, but instead filters down by adding an additional parameter. If you want to change an existing parameter, you'll need to add a replacement here. Both filters and replacements temporarily adjust the view of the data on the dashboard. If you want to overwrite the original parameters, you will click Save Parameters. This pins the changes to your dashboard as the default parameters. But be aware that this update is permanent not only for you, but for anyone else who views the dashboard moving forward. Another important thing to note is that you are changing the parameters of the dashboard, not the charts themselves. While viewing charts on a dashboard or accessing them through the dashboard, those changes will be reflected. However, if you go into the original chart, say by searching for it by name, the chart's original parameters will not be changed. Now that we've talked about viewing a dashboard, let's talk about creating a dashboard. To create a dashboard, click Create New and select Report Dashboard. This takes you to the Dashboard Builder, where you can click here to add a chart or cohort. You can also add text like headers or descriptions about the charts on the dashboard. For this dashboard, I'm going to select this chart and this chart. I could also select a cohort if I'd like to keep an eye on the cohort population over time or have easy access to that cohort. For the sake of this demo, I'm going to stop at just these two charts. By the way, you can add up to 45 charts to a dashboard, but we wouldn't recommend adding that many. Generally, when building your dashboards, keep in mind what you're trying to accomplish. Putting related charts and cohorts in one location to make it easier to share related insights and get a big picture view of related metrics. Adding too many charts, and especially charts which are unrelated, won't accomplish those goals and may cause the dashboard to load slower. Now that my charts are added to the dashboard, I can customize the look and feel of my dashboard by rearranging or resizing the charts. I can also add text headers or a subtext to create more visible organization and call out key charts. I can also click the three dots in the bottom corner to change the visualization of the charts. Now that I've set my dashboard up, I can share it with individuals in my organization by clicking Share. You can specify whether you want to give edit permissions or just view permissions, and you can change this later. You can also share dashboards with others in your organization by clicking the link icon, which will be shared as view only by default. 
You can also add your dashboards to your shared spaces. To make it part of a specific team's go-to resources and provide easy access for those who will want to reference this dashboard often. When you add a dashboard to a space, the space permissions will apply, allowing others in that space to view or edit the dashboard accordingly. When internal users view your dashboard, they can comment on the dashboard by clicking More, Comment. This allows your team to have a discussion right alongside the charts. To share externally, like with a partner or a customer, click on the Share button again and click Create Public Link. This public link is, of course, shared in a view-only mode. If you've created a particularly useful dashboard, which you think could be utilized again in the future, like in the case of the A-B test dashboard we looked at earlier, you can templatize it by clicking More, Tag as Template. For more information on dashboard templates, see the Dashboard Templates video in Amplitude Academy.